Mexico, where we left off last time. You were all traveling along the road. Adrastos had kind of gone off on a little side trip, but the rest of you were in a horse-drawn cart, making your way along the coastline headed towards Krimnos. And after a couple of days travel doing this, you finally exit the Four Winds Plateau, and you move into the more mountainous region. Things start to get a little hilly around here, which lets you know you've reached the top arc of Melitus Bay. So you're traveling towards evening one night, just as the sun drops down behind the, the horizon. You hear an odd noise, kind of a, a whistling sound. And then about 30 meters in front of you, the ground erupts in flames. It's this enormous boom and just fire everywhere. And then you hear another sound. It's, it sounds like a raging storm, just a single blast of thunder. And you see as the trees shake ahead of you. Holly, you're in charge of the horses. You've been driving up to this point, so I assume you're in charge now. What would you like to do? So trees got struck by lightning in front of us while we are traveling? You saw, you saw, I would say basically like a giant fireball from the sky hit the ground ahead of you. And then shortly after that, you heard a blast of thunder, but there was no lightning. Just okay, a, so I, I, I would call it a wave of thunder. Oh, great. Yes. Uh, excellent. I would like to not hit that fireball. Um, <laughs> I will try to move the, uh, the cart away from that. Okay, sure. so you're about 30 meters away, you know, and it's mm -hmm. it's in your trail ahead of you. So are you going to just stop or veer off? You can't veer off to the right because that would be your drop off into the bay. Probably not the best choice, but if you were on fire, it would be a good one. But probably since you're not in flames at the moment. Not um, so is there, it, there's no, when when I heard the, 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 the wave of thunder, as you so put it, uh, is it behind me? Is it behind? It was us in, in front of you. All of this is happening in front of you. Okay, if that's if that's the case, I'm just gonna chill and and stop. I'll I'll just stop it as soon as I can. Okay. You hear words echoing out. Do any of you uh, speak any of the dark, like abyssal? No. You hear these I words. Pay royal. That's yeah. training. Well, that's close. You you might recognize them then as being kind of dark words. And you, you just okay. hear as though somebody is muttering something over and over. And then you suddenly feel like this wave has rushed over you. And Ariana and Agrios drop. The rest of you feel a little bit slightly off for a moment, but you can shake it off. Prime is going to look up and, um, we appear to have lost Ariana and Agrios. And he climbs out the side of the wagon down to Agrios since he collapsed on the uh, trail. Um, is, is there some kind of magic happening? I mean, Oh, I have some kind of spell, don't I? Maybe not. I'm going to race over to Ariana and check what's happening with her. She doesn't appear wounded physically that you can see. Um, she's not exactly snoring, so I wouldn't call it sleep per se, mm -hmm. but she's definitely not responsive to you. Is this still same day as when we departed? Oh no, this is a couple of days later. Okay, okay. So you're fully rested, by the way. Everybody's fully I, rested. Oh, cool. Long rest yourself. Because I, ha I had good, oh. I had good berries that I had made last time, but those would be bad by now. Uh, real quick, as this is happening, can I check the horses and see if they're like spooked at all or anything? Of like the horses. Are we able to kind of rein them in? 
the horses, as you check on them, they were standing still. You had halted the cart. They're not moving either. I'll turn to the back, and I guess I only see both Tikros and Vara that are still awake. And Prime, obviously. And Prime. The horses, they're not awake. Is everybody else okay? For now, yes. But what did that? I'm going to look around into the trees. Or just around everywhere. All right, give me a perception check. And what is your eyesight at night? Dark vision. No, I don't have dark vision. <laughs> I, I didn't do. think you had dark vision. Okay. I'll I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try anyway. No, there's, With you a can definitely three. Look in, <laughs> the fire helps provide some light for you, Tikaros, but... Unfortunately, the flickering of the flames makes everything in the distance look like things are moving as it reflects off the limbs and rocks that make up the mountains. So everywhere you look, you think you see something, and then you realize, no, it's just a shadow. Or is it just a shadow? Could I try since I can see in the dark? <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks. What is, is this perception or investigation? Uh, this would be a perception if you're just looking around. You're Investigation's right. more of an in-depth kind of thing. Okay, nat 20, 26. Oh, my <laughs> word. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and what is this the range is... on your dark vision? About 60 feet? 60, yeah. Okay. Well, I mentioned that the fireball landed about 30 meters away. So as you look around, you can see your party. Um, you don't see anything happening in, in the immediate area around you. And in the distance, it's gone a bit quiet. So the noises and the voices you heard have stopped. Hmm. Did it seem like this was a targeted attack? Or did this seem like just a random event has occurred? Is that something that I can kind of gather uh, based on if the If your player's trying or... to determine that, I mean, that's kind of a, 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 a thinking on it type of thing. Uh, just give me... Uh, just give me a wisdom check. Let's just see okay. what your experience tells you. Lars got got some wisdom. She do be wise. That's eleven plus three, fourteen. With everything coming from that localized area in front of you, it would seem like a fight. I mean, no one launches cannonballs to nowhere. And then to have what you would perceive as possibly a spell, a couple of spells being launched from that area. Uh, very good. There's a fight up ahead of you. Okay. So we're not being targeted in any way from what it doesn't. It doesn't appear because okay. everything's stayed ahead of you. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like we're in direct danger. There's obviously some kind of combat going on up ahead, but. Um, seems like the rest of our, our crew is just collateral, um, unfortunately. Uh, do we want to see what's going on? Might seeing be dangerous. As, seeing as how the, the horses were also collateral, we're not going to be able to move anywhere. And I'd rather go check up, check out the danger than have the danger come to us. I agree. Especially yeah. since we can't defend the rest of them. Well, I definitely think we should be sneaky. Might be a fight that we can't handle with two um, people out. No, definitely. Um, Prime. Am I staying it... with them to keep them safe? I'd, I'd hate to leave them alone and unprotected. Exactly. No, that would, I... that would be great. And we should hide you all. You should hide. We've got a. You can't just be here in the open. I don't know if we could. I, I mean, we couldn't move the horses, but we could move the cart at least. If we un, unhitched and manually moved it over to the side. Hmm? And three people. Hold on. 
horses are heavy. <laughs> and these are these are what for, are they draft horses? They're just regular cart horses. Not just anything too, horse. too large. Yeah, not 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 giant war horses or anything. So Okay. So that would still be six hundred and sixty pounds on average. So the three of us yeah okay <laughs> Wait, so raise your hand if you don't have a negative modifier to strength uh that answers I, that question I plus okay, one. I plus one. I plus okay. One. i'm sorry am i answering am i answering for prime oh yeah, yeah prime would be great <laughs> what is prime's modifier can we know i have plus one uh on a scale of one to five um it would be a two Oh, Ooh, okay. Not bad. Interesting well, scale, but we'll take that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, Prime, a, um, I mean, you're the one who'll be watching over, so I, I, admittedly, I'll leave the choice up to you, but um, I think we'll go mm -hmm. ahead and investigate the combat, and then if you don't want to be in the middle of the road, you could perhaps move the cart off to the side. We could help you unhitch the horses, but... How about you help me get Agrios into the back of the cart, and then I'll move the cart and take care of that. Yes. I, now I, I tried. I'm afraid to I might not up... want to drag him. You know. Yeah, I, I, I've dragged him before, and even that is very difficult. So we will definitely help you. Um, cool. Yeah, and Vara will go over and try to help. Yeah, how much help I'll be, but and I'll like grab a leg, um, <laughs> a, a limb somewhere. I'm going to grab his hair and just make sure it gets out of the dirt. Except brush it out, get all the licks, the uh, sticks and twigs out of it. It's like, wait, hold on. He might, he might like that, actually. It's more like the, mm. the combat feel. There's... Yeah, it'll be fine. I think between the, all of you, you would be able to get him in there. And you're not in, in an urgent situation, so you've got time to mess around with it. So you'll get him into the wagon. And uh, Prime will go about unhooking the horses and wish you well be safe at least all he's not asleep so no one will die <laughs> here's to hoping as he says this a little ways ahead of you two small figures i mean probably about half ollie's height um, running out of the woods towards the edge and almost skid off of the edge of the cliff. I mean, they just barely stop themselves. And you hear them talking among themselves. Oh, just get rid of it quickly. Okay, fine. And they throw something off the edge. A small something. And you hear as something hits the water down below. And then the two look backwards and you hear a thundering noise hoofs like a large horse or something charging and the children oh, well, I gave that away the children take off running away from you down the road let's not be in sight for whatever is coming I'll try to, Time to, hide. to hide yeah and you're still near the cart. So are you going to hide at the cart or try and hide away from it? I think away from it, personally. So that way, if we do need to jump out or intervene, we're not drawing attention to the cart. Okay. Prime, like meanwhile, is continuing to of... unhook the horses. <laughs> okay. I feel like a cart full of like unconscious people is uh, not that much of a threat than conscious people. So uh, I will hide away from the cart as well. If I help Give Prime, will it be quicker? Possibly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. Okay. All right. For the two who are hiding, I need stealth checks. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's a six. We are we are all over the place today. <laughs> a a, a, a nat twenty and a nat one. <laughs> I got a, Suddenly, I got a six this total. figure bursts forth 
from the wood line about 20 meters away from where the wagon was stopped. And this very large, very minotaur shaped creature, like it's taking deep breaths, turns and scans around the area, and you see these flaming red eyes as it looks in your direction. And it sees the cart, the horses, and the two people who are working on it. And then it turns its eyes over to Olimaeus and Vara, who are attempting to hide a little away from it, but it puts them a little bit closer to this creature. And it turns and puts its head down and says, roll initiative. Oh, oh no. no! That was fast. Oh, no! Oh, oh that happened too quickly. Oh, uh, yeah. That's amazing. All right. Amazing being the uh, the code word for <laughs> what? Oh, we don't have a, we don't have tokens for the initiative tracker. Do you want us um, to drag those out? You can dra just drag them onto the map if you need to, or you can just tell me your roles because I'm just writing them down at the moment. I'm doing it oh, we're not doing a tracker. Okay. I'm just doing it the okay. easy way. I'm being lazy tonight. Four to oh, ten. Four to ten. I swear to God, out of all the times. What was that, Tikos? Uh, I got oh. ten for Tikos. Okay. What was that, Tali? Sorry. Nineteen. Oh wow! Yeah, amazing. When I don't know Ooh. what what I want to do. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prime got a nine. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. Damn. Damn. Prime. All right. Holly, this creature turns in your direction, puts its head down like it's about to charge. You're up. Uh, well, I'm going to just do, do what I do best. Were you looking for two figures with something that they were trying to get rid of because they tossed it down there? And I'll point to where I saw the two figures kind of chuck something in and... How are you intending this to be taken? Are you persuading? Are you? I, I, it doesn't sound like you're trying to intimidate someone. No, no, definitely is a persuasion. I'm just like, kind of like, just very casually, like, we're stuck here, so. Roll me a persuasion check, please. I see. Uh... Oh, that's a nat 20 for a 30. <laughs> <laughs> right. as, you, as you say this, the creature turns and looks in the direction that you pointed and kind of huffs and Oof. and lets steam out of its nostrils that go up. And then it turns back, looks at Tikaros for a moment, and then looks at its arm and kind of flexes its arm and then turns oh. and walks over to the edge of the cliff. And jumps off. What? He didn't have a golden mask or anything, right? He didn't have like a, a helmet or. Yeah, didn't really get a good look at him, but uh, you saw that he had red eyes and you could see that he had a minotaurish face. You don't have dark vision, I believe. So I don't think you'd be able to perceive anything more than that, really, at that distance, especially. Uh, yeah. If that's the case, I'll just turn over and just like, I I guess that's that's done and over with. Um, was that it? I guess I'll. That'll be the end of my turn. A moment later, you hear this cry out of agony coming from down the bottom of the cliff just this um that's not a good sound <laughs> avara you're no right. <laughs> <laughs> well uh so okay Sorry. Um, the threat has jumped off the cliff. 
apparently. After something small you mentioned, did it seem like it was a child? No, it was smaller than that. Maybe uh, it was, it was the just size an of item. a pouch. Okay. Um, oh, the size of maybe a ball with a thumbprint on it, maybe? Yeah, I, I, I guess that or, would be theoretically. Okay. I mean, you know, maybe possibly. a pouch with a, with, a, with a bottle of ink inside. Oh, but in in theory, everyone is below. Do I have an idea of how high up the cliff face is? Uh, or you am haven't I walked not over to it. Okay. But since you were driving along, I'd say you're somewhere between twenty and thirty feet. Okay. Because you're just getting into this mountainous range. I'll I'll walk over. I, I I'll kind of look over to Ptolemaeus and say, oh, "Well, well, I was I was terrified. Now I'm just curious." <laughs> so she's gonna walk over <laughs> and try to see what's going on. As you peer over the edge, all you see is water. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Can I? I mean, I have shape. Well, I guess I. Okay, I'll I'll kind of look over to Ptolemaeus and wait for him to join me. If Are I we were to then? cast water walk and jump, that would hurt because it would be like <laughs> solid ground, right? So it's a, wanna, it's a bit of a dr I would want to jump and then cast water walk afterwards. Okay, <laughs> cool. Great. Yeah, so I'll I'll wait to see if Thomas is willing to come with me before doing that. <laughs> are, are are we still in initiative on this situation? Um I'll go ahead. I'm gonna let Tikaros go. Um uh, okay. if Ara's done with her turn, just to see if yes. there's anything particular she wants to do. Okay then. I will also run over to the side of the cliff and I want to cast my dark vision, which is my dancing lights cantrip, over the side <laughs> to see what I can see. So oh. I will have 120 feet of like dancing lights action. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, that is excellent. that's the range. So these lights begin to uh, dance around in front of you, Vara, disrupting your dark vision slightly. Yeah. <laughs> there's a little bit of light, but not, not too bad. I know, all of a sudden Vara's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh take a rest. Give me a perception check. Okay. Ooh, dirty 20 for me. All nice. right. Nice. As you are looking over the edge, you see the water, you see it lapping up, and because of your lights are reflecting off of this, as the tide pulls back a little bit, you see a shape that is moving around under the water. Ooh. And as you watch this for a moment, your lights can actually extend into the water a little bit because you have enough distance to do that. And the figure is, well, it's kind of smoky looking, you know, not, not this solid opaque. I mean, it could be the, this, you know, the water diffusing the light a bit. It looks like a minotaur. Like he's looking for something. And then your lights come down near it, and it turns its head and looks straight up at you. <clears throat> and then turns into a mist that leaves the water, makes its way up the hill, and reforms on the edge of the cliff. Oh, oh wow. Do you... um? Do you need help? I can turn into a water creature, so if there's if you're looking for that item, I could probably find it. What was that item? It is going to turn its eyes towards the two of you, and now that it is standing, you know, maybe 20 feet away from you, you get this feeling of just darkness as it looks at you. And I need uh, wisdom saving throws, please. Oh. 
I, that's not very nice. I offered to help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Is that, is that Tikaros as well or just the two? Yes, both of you. Everybody. Yes. 12. Gotcha. Ptolemaeus is far enough away, I think. He, he, oh, he didn't no. go to the edge. So. No, not yet, at least. Wisdom save? Mm-hmm. Three. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no, I got a 12. I'm hopeful. Oh. <laughs> Both of you suddenly find yourself filled with dread and fear. Oh, no. And <laughs> your only thought is to get away from this thing as quickly as possible. And both of you find yourself compelled to take your dash action. I'm going to leave it up to you which direction you go. You can either go back towards the cart or up into the mountains. I have the restrain condition on my character sheet. Okay. Um... I assume we're considered frightened for the sake of conditions. You are frightened, absolutely. Great. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I would go. That is true. That doesn't gross. Z's been Z's mentioning that she's advantage on the saving throw because of her magic resistance. Oh, if it's a magic effect. Is it a spell? Mm. Or is it just it's it's being? <laughs> it doesn't. It's not technically it's listed effect. as a magical effect. So I'm going to say no in this case. Cool. Oh, sense. that's so cool. Um, uh, I think Vara is going to run along the cliffside because she's still very interested in the item, and I think okay. her fear, even though she's getting away from the creature, I think that that curiosity is still kind of controlling her too. So she's going to stick by the water to potentially jump in and try to find that item. <clears throat> and Tikaros would probably, I think safety would be first priority and she would consider prime like safety. So she would run back towards the cart. Okay. As you run away, the body, the creature re-squares its body towards the direction of the cart. Where are the thieves? <laughs> point, just like pointy. Other, other way, other way. Weren't they children? <laughs> Did you they just tattletale on children? <laughs> I didn't know. They they look like maybe halflings. <laughs> they were half my size. They were probably <laughs> halflings. <laughs> Kids don't wander out at night these days. That will not be tolerated. Stay away from the temple! And it turns and begins running down the way Ptolemaeus pointed. Oh, um... I feel like we need to find that object. Yeah, I also feel like maybe we should... Not let him kill those people, Ptolemies. <laughs> I'll I'll go find the object, and um, Vara will dive off the cliff. Cool. All right. I have no way of getting up. I've realized. <laughs> I've already done. <laughs> so uh, you are diving off a cliff into water. I never yes. said how deep the water was, but you know it's at least deep enough that a minotaur could walk around in it. So I am going to give credit that you're diving into water. Wait, wait. And... So so before before she dove, is it possible for me to have run towards her while while this was happening so we could like converse? I will leave that closer. up to the players. Yeah, I'll I'll just we be had, like we had been talking, so I assume we were either shouting like or running, approach. Yeah, I'll just I'll I'll approach and I'll I'll, I'll talk and you you as soon as I see you dive, I'll just um, yeah, I'll use my reaction to cast Feather Falls just so you could kind of float down. Into oh, the cute. How just, kind of you. Yeah. Bar was ready to just jump ship overboard. <laughs> like, she's like, I've jumped into the ocean before. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm just, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just cast Feather Fall. I'll just be like, wait. That's a... I imagine no you cast it. Yeah, I imagine you cast it as if you're like trying to grab me. It's just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's absolutely no way of you know it's fine and and you just like float <laughs> down yes <laughs> well we have rope we have rope a beautiful I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine songs in my head um 
So How as you of hemp and rope. <laughs> make your way down into the water, I'm going to take you all out of initiative because your threat has left. Uh, Vara, you land in the water, and it is a little bit deep, as mentioned. You know, probably uh, 10 feet, 15 feet deep in this area, somewhere in that range. All righty. Uh, the tide is rocking back and forth against the rock, as mentioned. So the sand underneath is shifting a bit. And you see as it rolls in, some things are pushed forward. And then as it draws back out, things on the seabed are pulled back out to it. Sometimes not to return. You do not know what you were looking for, except that it is a small object and fell somewhere um, 30 to 40 meters away from where you were at, where it was thrown over. Yep. <laughs> so I am just. Uh, if I could, if I could double this advantage on this check, I would. <laughs> but cool. uh, let's have a disadvantaged perception as you are searching for this thing that okay. you don't know what it is. I will, uh, I will do my best. Are there any sea creatures nearby while I do this? Or actually, before I do this, are there any sea creatures nearby, like fish or whatever? No, I'm afraid not. Apparently, this minotaur <gasps> dashing around in the water uh, was off. enough to scare things off. Okay. Darn it. I could have probably the flashing <laughs> probably the flashing lights too, you know. Which I yeah. assume they're still going unless well Tikaris, you were feared, so I'm gonna play maybe mm. your spell dissipated. I would think the Minotaur just jumping into the water in the first place. Oh no, that was would, enough yeah. to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well no, that's fine. I was I was gonna try to seek friends friend friendship counsel with the fish, but um I okay, so investigation you said or perception? Uh, I'll let you do either one, whichever you prefer. My perception's better, so that would be preferred. Okay. I know I always ask investigation perception as if I don't want it to be perception. Um, <laughs> another net twenty. My oh, I'm, I'm so perceiving time. today. <laughs> oh wait, but it's Almost. a disadvantage, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm. Oh, oh, so no. I may not have to give up yet. <laughs> It's okay, it's still 16, wow, so 22. it's still 22. <laughs> That's still good. That is, that is just awesome. I'm determining what you find. Just a moment. Oh. Oh. I don't... Is it a, is it a mystery? Had to, de had to determine? You couldn't just, oh, like, find the thing? Find a thing? Like, that's... Well, there's there's a chance if they... It, it's something thrown, fell in the water. So, what you find is a single ring made out of alabaster alabaster in a pouch or it's just like a big no ring? it's just lying it's it's amazing that you found it because it's it's in the sand and packed into it a bit from maybe minotaur feet who knows but you find that single alabaster ring is it from is it from like a statue well, I mean, you can supposition anything you want. You really don't have enough information to make that judgment. Hmm. It is sized. It is sized properly for a human hand, or satyr, or you know. Um, oh, I am so tempted frightened, to just you know. toss that shit on my hand. Um, I won't. I won't. Do it, says T. Cox's voice. You know, you know what? You know what? Do it. You know what? Hold, hang on just a second. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's actually, it's actually sized properly that it would fit your finger. Oh no! Oh no! I'm. Oh. I'm gonna make a wisdom save. Hold on. <laughs> I rolled a four. <laughs> I put that shit on. <laughs> no. I'm like, oh, it's a the sea. Mm -hmm. You put the ring on your finger and it just feels like a ring. Oh, nice. Yeah, but it's alabaster. I think Var is assuming that it might belong to a statue somehow. Okay. During, during this time, 
I, I assume that everybody has their, like, starting pack gear, then we have, like, at least 50 feet from, like, each person. Am I able to just tie off, like, three packs of that rope to, to Absolutely. Just... Have like a hundred and fifty <laughs> feet roll. You. <laughs> and you're you're still now that you're still still near the cart, so I mean you can steal rope from other people if you need it. It'd be perfect. They're unconscious. Fun. They'll 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 get it back. It's a little wet, know, but it's so. fine. It's hemp, so <laughs> so it's just like roll it down the cliff. I I was like, <laughs> as soon as that happens, I'm I'm gonna think about tying it off and I'll just be like, Prime, I think you might need to help pull Vara back up. Or something like that. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, I I will gladly give it a try. Yep, and then the rope so, just falls into the water. All right. So, uh, <laughs> are you, you? So you're having Prime do it himself. You're not assisting, right? No, no. I'll assist. I'll assist oh, for okay. sure. Okay. But but I can't do it myself. Okay. There's no way. Uh, Prime is going to take it and just start hand heavy. over hand pulling it up like this, and he'll wrap it around your waist and walk backwards. That will give an anchor in case it slips. It'll work. I read about it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the fear of being bisected, I'll just <laughs> I'll just walk backwards and kind of <laughs> lean back. Um. So. Or I assume you take the rope. We didn't even ask if Farah took the rope. I guess. Yeah, I'm about to say. It, so. <laughs> Prime's already pulling it up, and Vara's still admiring her new range. She's like, oh. Prime gets to the end of the rope and goes, "Oh no, we lost her." <laughs> you didn't bait it. I mean, I don't. I don't know what you're. It's like frayed on the side. No, I'm, I'm... I'm trying to catch a fish person without bait. Um. Yeah, I'll go. Ahead, I'll go ahead and swim over to it. Um. And so I'll grab put another the rope. ring on the rope. Um. I feel like I'll grab the rope and like anticipate that they were expecting me to just wall climb and then Prime starts pulling it up and I'm like, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm just going to sit on it. As you reach near the top, Vara, a hand reaches down to you to help you up over the edge. I don't like how you phrase that. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, you do or don't? I couldn't understand. I what do you take, I do okay. take the hand. All right. And the young woman pulls you up onto the edge. Yep. Okay. Yep, yeah. So. <laughs> he clocked that shit. Yep. Cool. <laughs> oh. Um, hello. Thank you for helping pull me up. Thank you, she says as she fades away. Uh oh, I'm cursed. Um Vara's <laughs> gonna look for Tali and Prime and everyone. And Prime is going to look over and what do you mean cursed? Um well, I assume I'm the only one who saw that woman who just helped pull me up. Is that correct? I helped pull you up. Great, yes. So I I'm back here too, but yeah, I hello. Know. I found something at the bottom of the sea. I believe it's the same object that was thrown in, but I can't be 100% for sure. I mean, the the tide here is pretty strong, so admittedly what was thrown in might have already been washed away. But I did find this ring, and I'll hold up my hand, uh, and I put it on because um, that seemed like the best way to hold on to it. And now I just saw a apparition uh, thank me and disappear. So I think I'm cursed, but cool could you, ring. Could you try Prime's, Prime's mouth jaw doesn't actually move, you know, exterior when he talks, but you can see his mouth is a gate as he looks <laughs> at the ring on Excellent. your finger. <laughs> Excellent. So, I so have no. not tried taking it off. That's a great <sighs> thing to try. And Avar will try to take the ring off. It comes off. Nice. I'm going to glance around for Ghost Lady. You do not see Ghost Lady. I'm going to put the ring back on. Okay. I'm going to glance around for Ghost Lady. <laughs> you do not see Ghost Lady. Okay. At this time. Um, okay, well, either I'm cursed or this object belonged to someone and I just helped them pass, which... Would be nice. 
that's kind of my thing. So maybe I'm not cursed. Maybe this is a blessing. A young woman steps out of the wood line. Oh. Alesta? Rocco? Excuse me, did you see, did you see two children? So those were, those were children. They were children, yes. yes. Okay. Um, um, we saw, we saw two yeah. figures. Uh, definitely rather short. Toss something over the cliff. We're really hoping it's they, this They ring. fell over the cliff? No, 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 no. They, they, they themselves didn't fall over the cliff. Or else... Let me start from the beginning. Did your children steal something from a temple? Exactly. <laughs> Let's start with that. they steal, <laughs> steal something from the temple? Let's let's what do you know of the for, temple? Yes, what what is what what is what do we know about the temple? What is the temple? Oh, I I assume you mean the temple of the dead lovers. Oh, so oh it is no, and Barbara <laughs> puts her hand in her hands. <laughs> I'm married now. Oh no. <laughs> um Okay, so rewind it a little bit. So let's just go. Let's just go back to the very beginning. Um, there is definitely some sort of a specter that is chasing two shorter creatures that I am hoping are not your kids, but could very potentially be uh, your children. Uh, they stole something from the temple and so you presume they stole something i presume that the specter was chasing after thieves yes that would explain why the spirit is so angry so you know of the spirit everyone knows of the spirit Do you, do you have some sort of way to find it, track it, and whatnot? Well, no. Why would we have that? Just have, haven't you heard? That. You you're you're in the, the village of Kiris Kome. home of the temple of the dead lovers. Protected oh, okay. by the spirits. I don't like any of those words. Um, Vara... The, 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 the ring... Are there alabaster rings that belong to the temple? Oh yes, the, the two bodies wear them. Yeah. They've been there for centuries. Yeah, okay. Does it um... look... Any bit like that one. And when she looks at it, she goes pale. Yeah, we should return this, I think. Um, but where's the other one? Oh, I only found one. Are they both missing? Well, I would presume you said... I, you're the ones who said they were... St and you're blaming the children, yet they're in your possession. Listen, here is, let me go ahead and give you a um, retelling of events. We were carting down the road, a large sound and what appeared to be combat occurred in front of us and knocked out some of the rest of our group. We went to investigate and watched two children who were being pursued by some type of minotaur with red eyes throw something off a cliff. The children then ran away. The Minotaur jumped into the water, looking for the item, reappeared on top of the cliff, and then went chasing after the children, having seen where they went. We, I personally, then jumped in the water, trying to find what the children threw in an attempt to ideally calm whoever this minotaur is that was chasing the children 
uh, and I found this ring. Only one. I mean, there were a couple of other things down there, but this was really the only thing that seemed of import. I didn't see any other rings. Um, so either that one is not missing, that one is missing in a different place slash gone to the sea, or the children only threw one ring over and still have the other. That would be my guess. We haven't been to the to the temple. I, I, I only, you just mentioned the ring, but it makes sense that might be why they were angered, but the the fight that you saw those those were a couple of rangers mm. they were attempting to to fight off the spirit as it was it attacked our village the spirit referred to your children as thieves that's the only reason why i'm assuming that the rings were stolen by them are you sure did it say this to to them or to you um it was definitely to them Oh. oh. Why am I standing here talking to you? I, and she starts to make her way away. I've, I've got to protect them. I've got to find them. They went that way. I'll just point. <laughs> I, Tully, we're going with her. <laughs> we need to return the ring. I, I think oh. we need to return the ring now, like very quickly. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, we're going to go return the ring, um, and hopefully that fixes everything. Uh, I, the, the temple's that way, and she'll just kind of point as she's running and heads right. off down the path. Uh, okay. Prime, are you okay with keeping watch after the card, or would you like to go with this to the temple? He's going to look at it. He's going to look at the, uh, the tracks, the footprints left by this minotaur, and... Uh, I can stay with the cart. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> the funny thing is, Tully looked at the same tracks and said, we should return the ring. <laughs> <laughs> so did T. Garros. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we could do that thing where we hide the cart or at least put you somewhere safely really quick before we go. And I will try to start dragging the cart or trying to do something helpful. Yeah. To hide. All right. Uh, you'll find some right. space off the side of the road that you can move some stuff. Um, Prime will, uh, let's see, does anyone have a hatchet or an axe? Mm, I think I have a, I think I have a quarter staff for my, or no, I have a scimitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that won't work so well. So uh, Prime is going to walk up to uh, where the tree line is at, and he wants to clear a space for the wagon to go. So he's going to uh, look back, and I think I'll try that that one thing that we, we looked at, Tikaros. Oh, yes. And so he is going to put his hands back, and he is going to throw his hand forward, and a long chain with metal thorns on it is going to come out of his hand like a whip and hook around the base of one of the trees and he is going to yank on it and use it like a saw to cut. Oh, cool. And he will do this multiple times. As, as he's happening that way, that doing that, is it possible for me to, um, whichever one that he uses, I put the, or like he's, he has the, the, thor the thorn whip, let's just say, um, <laughs> wrapped around the tree is it possible for me to kind of guide it along by like putting my hand on the tree and casting thunderclap and just kind of using the sound oh i love it shake shake the bark Absolutely. off as well yeah it's a little noisy but it works <laughs> yeah i mean it's gonna crack a couple times but all right and you'll be able to clear down a couple of trees move the wagon back into that area Amazing. Prime, I'm so proud of you. Your magical study has come so far in such a short time. Yes. Well, great. Well, that's one. <laughs> one of many to come. Yeah. You got to teach me now. Oh. And he just, again, <laughs> he has no facial expressions, but you get his facial expression <laughs> of, oh, great. <laughs> cool. Fear, when we come back. Fear and panic. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Uh, once again, be safe and try not to be killed by any ghosts. Uh, that not to happen, but yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go sort this out, Vara. I don't like the fact that you might have spirits after you. No. Uh, not a day's work. <laughs> Are you still wearing the ring? Do you intend to keep wearing it? Yeah, why not? I don't want to lose it, so I'll I'll keep it on my hand. Probably as, a good choice, you, keep, you know. <laughs> no, as, as you keep wearing it, though, I'll just be like, I understand you don't want to lose it, but does it really bode well to be wearing the ring while going to a temple of the dead lovers, and it is one of the dead lovers' rings? Um... Potentially not. Oh. But potentially it'll be, I mean, the, the woman thanked me, so I don't think any harm would come to me from it. Honestly, I don't think there's, there's any positives nor negatives when it comes to spirits thanking you. So. That's fair. Um... Uh, I will look over and I assume that of some of my stuff, I have like a a small pouch that we could just like put it in and just I'm sure I'm sure let's let's use this and i'll I'll grip it and I'll hold on to it tightly as long as it doesn't have anything identifying someone wearing it or whatnot, there might not be as much of a problem. Okay. So yeah, I'll I'll kind of like move stuff around, kind of take a couple of like ink vials out of a pouch and then put put the, the ring in a pouch and just hold on to it as it as we go along. Once okay. we tie it off and yeah. So it's is it the only thing in the pouch or is there something else in the pouch? It's the it? only thing in the pouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I just move everything out, out of what the small pouch tie it off with the, the ring inside and then I'm holding it. Okay. So what's your plan? And away we go towards the mm -hmm. towards the temple. Okay. Uh just heading into the woods at any point or uh, I mean the direction that the the woman pointed at or like waved at, I, I guess. Okay. All right. I think we should be stealthy. I think we should be really careful. I agree. Okay. Well, first off, who's going to be leading the pack as you make your way through the woods? Who's your navigator? Um, my survival's pretty good. My survival is only okay. And mine is not very good. <laughs> I think so. Uh, you know what? I'll ask Tolly um, after he puts the ring in the pouch. Do you mind if I'm still the one carrying it? It's perfectly fine. I'll okay. Hand it over to Vara. And then I want to try to track and kind of head in the direction, but I also want this to be. I don't. I don't know what how you want to play this, but um, I almost want it since I've worn it, even though I'm not wearing it anymore. I want to see if maybe I can feel like a from the ring because I feel like in Vara's mind it would be potentially a way to lead her to the temple since I'd assume the ring would want to be returned um, so so I'm going to be kind of you know just navigational based on the stars but also mm -hmm. a little bit of like that emotional like try to see if there's an okay. emotional pool as well interesting um, and, and during that is it possible for me to, to also just kind of uh help vara out by by pointing out it's just like maybe maybe there there are signs of the road being traveled or, or some of these places being traveled there is a village around here with the temple mm. and just kind that of point sense. out and see if there's like broken branches where people the rangers have walked through okay well in that case um i will let you roll that uh perception check 
or pardon me, survival check uh, with advantage. Cool. Okay. Um. Cool. Great. Well, one of us was a nat one, so advantage is beautiful. Twenty five. <sighs> All right, and then I need stealth rolls from all of you, because you're only as good as your weakest link. Oh, great. Excellent. Yeah. Oh. 21. 18. Nice. nice. Tolly, Tolly, Tolly. <laughs> At least it's double digits. That's you know, not bad, close yeah. Close enough. <laughs> That's good enough. As you guys are making your way through the woods, you know, uh, Ptolemaeus is, as he's checking for broken limbs, you know, he ends up grabbing leaves every once in a while and causing a bit of a racket, but it's not too, too bad. And, uh, Ara, as you are walking along the trail and trying to feel if there's anything from this, this ring, you don't really get that, but up ahead of you, a couple of times when you could kind of maybe veered a little bit from the direction you, you think you should be going, you see a figure ahead, a young woman hmm. who beckons to you to come a different way. I follow. Hmm? Yeah, young woman specter definitely better than minotaur specter. <laughs> <laughs> For now. So... As you follow this path for a while into the woods, you come up to an area where it starts to thin out, and you can see where there's a village ahead. There's some lights, and you see, well, it appears to be one of the rangers. You've, you've seen these rangers before. You've met one outside of uh, Akros. Sure did. And uh, they're talking to someone. You can't really get a you can't really get a good eye on who they're speaking to, but you can tell off to their right a little bit. There's like a a big area that has been burned, and you can see where the trees are cracked and broken, like they'd been hit by some force that just went out like a spear from something and and broke trees. Actually, damaged some of the huts as well. Hmm. You're not quite close enough to make out what they're saying at the moment. Um, but they don't see you because you're in the tree line. I'll approach closer. Are you going to break the edge of? Are you are you ceasing to try and hide? Are you going to break the edge of the tree line? Yeah, I think so. I'll still be. St I'm not going to just like. Trapes up, but um, yeah, I'm will, I'm willing to break the tree line. Yeah, okay. As stealthy as I can, I'll I'll go into the clearing. Okay. How about the rest of you? I will wordlessly follow <laughs> and try to be as stealthy as I can without being as loud as I've already been. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, I was having so much fun being stealthy. Fair enough. I'll follow. <laughs> All right. You make your way out. And for some time as you approach, I mean, up until you're probably about 10 feet away from this uh, ranger who's facing away from you, there's like no notice and continually talking. And then suddenly the ranger looks over their shoulder and sees you and kind of looks startled. And then looks back to who he was talking to, and they're not there anymore. Oh. But I saw them? You did. Um, hello. Yes. And kind of, you can see that this person is wounded. The ranger? You see some, there's some, yeah, there's some burn marks on their armor. <laughs> Oh, geez. But they also have some other wounds uh, that look like uh, probably bludgeoning type damage. Oh. 
Oh, excuse me, were you injured in that in that flame or, or whatever occurred earlier? Yes, and unfortunately my my partner was a little indiscriminate. Mm. Have you ever had anyone bring down a fireball in the midst of your group? Uh, I've yet to experience that, and I hope I never mm. do. Try um, to avoid it. I, I plan to. Um, we're looking for the temple. Could mm. you point us in the right direction? Um, why are you looking for the temple? Oh, uh, we think we found something that we that we need to return there. Um, what is that? And kind of grips up on their spear a little bit more, kind of like uh, gone from kind of a casual holding it to more of a defensive. Um, I you seem. A bit tense, so I will preface this with we found this and are trying to help. We did not steal this, but we found um we found one of the rings for the statues of the lovers. And the ranger suddenly looks <laughs> side to side. Oh quiet. Um I wouldn't say that too loudly. Oh. You only found one? Yes, um... We're both missing? Yes. Oh, and yeah, we encountered a woman that told us about that twin. We, we saw two a children. Woman. Yes, there's a woman looking for her children that left the village. The, um, the Minotaur Spectre is of... chasing after them. There's no woman that's left the village. We We do have two children missing, but... Oh, well, might have been a specter, I suppose. Um, but we, we talked to a woman for a while, and she, she informed us about the temple and um, about the rings. She knew we have them, and she didn't attack us or anything. Or just one, I mean. I, f I found it in the ocean, or I guess the river. Well, oh, it'd be ocean. the ocean, right? Or is this a river? It's 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 the bay. So. It is the bay, yeah. yeah. We found it in the bay. I um, I jumped in and was able to acquire it. Show kind of motion to her fins, so like I, I'm I'm a fish. <laughs> but you only found one. Yes. Here, give it to me. Um, uh, we, we we're happy to. to yeah, we're happy to just take it to the temple. It's it, I mean you're wounded. Where where is the temple? The temple's up the, the mountain ridge a ways, but... Okay. Um, you should know, <laughs> the spirits that protect the temple are... They're a bit agitated. Would they not want the rings returned? <laughs> of course they do, but they're they're quite angry, apparently. They're talking something about the... I don't, it's, it's not clear, but they're saying something about the... The lovers are actually on the altar, but, I mean, they've been there for 200 years. I assume they were statues. Have you ever oh. seen them? I might have. I am, um, well, when I found the ring, I accidentally put it on because I was in the water. I didn't want to be holding on to it and get knocked loose. So I was wearing it, and when I came back up over the cliff and pressed it, um, uh, a hand reached out to me, and it, it was a, it looked like a feminine hand, and I assumed it was um, my friend Tikaros's, and I and I grabbed it to be pulled up, and uh, instead it was this woman, and she thanked me and dissipated. I see. I guess that could have been any given specter, since we've seen a handful now, but um, considering she thanked me directly after putting on the ring, I... I I think it would, might have been her. And then I'll describe her to the best of my ability to see if it sounds familiar. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I've never I've never looked under the veil. Oh. I've only seen the altar from a distance. Did she have a veil? Like on the like, you know, wedding style, like that was undraped no. over. Okay, cool. Nope. Um then we should best I'll I'll just kind of interrupt them. We would best be going then. I've I have a 
feeling that we should get this as soon as possible back to the altar. Yeah, I think so. Do you need healing, or are you going to be okay? I'll be fine. Uh, I'm more worried about my my friend who also caught themselves in the blast, of course. Again, mm. we train for this, but I think in a moment of panic, you just do what you can. I would be very careful. Of One of the, the temple spirits mentioned that there's another Eidolon who has moved in, and normally they've been quite calm, but apparently the, they mentioned the theft to them, and this upset the new spirit greatly. Hmm. Uh, well, um, we'll do our best. Uh, do you have any idea where the other ring might be? I didn't even know that this one was out. There. Okay. They 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 rest on the fingers of the beloved. I thought they were part of the statue. Hmm. But now I'm not I even sure it's a statue from what the spirits are saying. Hmm. Yeah, I assumed it was the statue as well. Well, um, uh, we best be on our way. Uh, be safe. And if there's any update about those children, um, obviously we'll be at the temple if you could let us know. Um, I hope they're which okay. Way did, which way were the children going? I, I will uh, we were just on the path through the woods here. We came from that direction and She'll kind of point to the stars and then realize, like, this guy does not know what she's talking about. And then, you know, kind of readjust, like, um, that way is the way to the road. And then, as far as I can tell, they just followed the road. If you find a cart um, with two horses next to it, then you, you're on the right path. Oh, from, from what I remember, you said that the bay was on our right side, right? So they, they basically followed... Um, down with the bay on the right side uh, of the road. Yes. I'll, I'll yes. yeah, I'll, I'll relay that information as well. It's just okay. follow until you get to the bay and keep the bay on your right side. And you'd right. Be in the right path. Thank you. Um, if you run into, I can't believe I'm saying this. If you run into the ghost, um, and it's a small, appears to be, satire. Um, its name is Mativra. Okay. I don't know that I'd mention that you have the ring. That might upset her a bit. At least yeah. not until you get to the temple. Sound advice. Okay. So the ranger will head off down the road. There's a small trail that heads out. You guys came in a little bit different angle. And we'll limpingly head down that trail. As soon as the ranger gets out of um, earshot, I'll just m mention as we kind of continue forward. And just, do you think? Do you think specters or spirits and whatnot have the same sort of celebrations as we do? Like the the celebration on for for Heliod and Neolanton. They do something that 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 comes with the same seasons and whatnot a yearly thing perhaps where the spirits might have come back up to celebrate these oh. dead lovers maybe if that's the case then and the ranger said that they didn't know whether or not that these were rings that they could be taken off so perhaps this was still the only ring that's missing Or should we spend the time to to search the bay again? Um, I feel like it's worth a shot to just return the one ring. I mean, we haven't really gotten a clear answer on whether or not the other one's even missing. And perhaps one of the maybe one of the lovers could could give us guidance or or something like that if we can get past the spirits. Well, what if we ask the ranger to go while we're going to the temple? Maybe they could start looking in the bay. Um, I think the ranger would be more keen to look the for children. the children. Yeah. Yes, there's a handful of things to juggle at the moment. 
Uh, it's a hard choice, but I, I, I lean towards going, um, going to the uh, temple. Yes. As, as shorthanded as we are already, I would definitely not recommend splitting us up as well. I'll just keep following Vara and pointing out stuff to her to, to get to the temple. Okay. There is a path that leads up this way. And it's uh, fairly well maintained. Other paths that move off into the woods and go different directions, they're enough to be passable, but this one is actually maintained. And along the path in several places, there are fresh flowers that apparently are grown and brought in and laid along the side of the path. You go for a ways until ahead of you, you see this large arbor covered in ivy, kind of white stone, maybe some type of marble. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. And the temple lies on the other side. It's a large building, several pillars holding up a fairly good roof, and it has some walls built around it that are kind of half walls, maybe a little taller than half, so that during the day, the light will shine in and have gap under the roof. But at night, it's just black. There are no lights on inside the temple. And as you pass through the arbor, there's a staircase that ascends. Probably about ten steps up. What would you like to do? Just keep going, I guess, to, yeah. until we find the uh, where mm -hmm. we would be able to put the ring down, I guess. As you step onto the staircase, Vara, having passed through the arbor, candles begin to flicker to life, starting from the staircase and making their way up the side. How many candles are there? Ten. No. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there are more. There are multiple candles that uh, light the path of this trail. And as it moves off into the distance and these lights continue to flicker on, you see another dais and then another on top of that. And at the very top of that is a platform. And it appears that something's lying on top of this, almost like an altar. And there is a, a cloth, a veil that lays across. Everything in here is of a white and gold pattern, occasionally interlaced with obsidian that has been hand-carved and fit into place to make just a beautiful path and structure mm -hmm. walking its way up to this altar in the distance. And if I can get it to flip to the map for you, you'll get to see what it looks like. There we go. Oh. And Jeez. <gasps> That's pretty. Excuse me, as OBS is uh, not wanting to switch to the map for our viewers, so give me a moment. There can we, we put go. put our tokens on here? Yeah, you can. Just put them at that staircase on the far right. Somebody's token popped up in the middle of the screen, so I'm going to try and move it over. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh somebody else grabbed it <laughs> just as I got there. If we pass all this candlelit area, so oh, oh we're, we're just at the right side. Okay. So yep, you're at the, you're just entering it. I wanted to give you an opportunity to make a decision about what you wanted to do before we moved on into the temple proper. Well, it is gorgeous. Uh, the candle's lighting is 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 a bit ominous. Yeah, it is. Should we continue? Well, we're here to help. We're not being shifty or terrible people. We're here to help. So, yeah, I that mean, should keep us safe. Continue to walk forward with good intent in mind, and 
um, be as ready. You, as you make your way up from the staircase and step foot onto the that exquisitely carved path, a figure fades into existence in front of you. Mm. And slowly, not walking, but drifting, makes its way towards you and stops about 10 feet ahead of you. And I think this is a great place to take a break. <laughs> and I'm assuming based on the way the tokens are laid out that that is interesting. I've got two different token patterns here. On my screen, I show Vara in front of, but on the camera screen, I show Vara behind <laughs> or, or mm. off to the side. It's very interesting. On mine, I'm in I front. I, I think that was my intention because I was kind of leading the I, way initially. I've just, I've got two roll 20 screens, one for the DM and one for the view that goes out over the stream. And they've got different views. I've never had that happen. That's before. so interesting. I think like, yeah, no, probably the, refresh one of them. Yeah, the one on yeah, stream is see. the one I'm seeing. There we yeah. go. I just I just oh, moved it and it refreshed. Cool. So something was out of sync. Cool. It was just weird because I'm looking between the two of them and going, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a ghost in the machine. Anyway. Mm. <clears throat> the figure approaches. Uh the figure stands about the height of uh Picaros. Maybe a little taller, oh. but roughly that height. Um while it is somewhat of a, an ephemeral form, somewhat ghostly, so to speak, um, it also seems to be a similar shape to Tikaros. Oh, um, geez, I have already forgotten the name. Oh, what was it? it starts with an M. Materia. 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 Um, are you Materia? I am now. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I like the sound of it better. Um, yes, I am. Who are you? And why are you carrying a holy relic? We found the relic. Oh, I, sh I should answer in the order asked. My name is Vara Tideborn. Um, concerned passerby who uh, saw um, a, a minotaur specter chasing after um, what they claim to be thieves. Uh, and I found this ring at the bottom of the bay and I'm here to return it. I don't know where the other one is if it's also missing. I believe this one belongs to um, the, the bride. Would it be, were they married? Would it be the bride? The girlfriend? The woman? And as you are talking... One of the lovers. Another figure steps out from the shadows to your right. More, doesn't exactly step. More floats its way out. If you have it, it doesn't belong to you. Put it back now. Trying to. Trying yeah, that, to. that's that was my here. stated intention. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and you must have the other one. We must have it back now. No excuses. Uh, we have not found that one yet, but I'm happy to look for it after we place this one. And Farah will kind of quicken her pace and start walking to the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you going to try and go around her material or go through her? Oh, I, I'd go around. She's kind I'd of be in your life. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Do so you step around? Even if I could go through her, yeah, Vara would be like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll sidestep. <laughs> uh, what are the rest of you doing as Vara moves forward? I will be following very closely. Uh, knowing okay. that, uh, yeah, definitely with sp spirits around. Don't want to split the party anywhere 
further. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And Tikros? I agree. Yeah, I agree. I will stay close, but keep my eyes on those spirits at all times. Okay. Is this kind of the order you would take as you're proceeding? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vara, as you move up for ah, oh, you moved. <laughs> as you move up first, uh, Materia's going to look as you approach, and she's kind of going to turn and just float along with you. So facing okay. you, as you're walking forward, she's kind of going, keeping pace with you, going sideways. Great. Uh, I, for, please forgive Lanathos. He, he gets angry so quickly. I do not! They have stolen it! Um, I don't think they took it. You didn't steal it, did you? Uh, no. No, we found it. and we're. Uh, yeah. I don't think thieves typically return the things they steal, so that'd be very odd. I don't recognize your face or yours. And then she's going to turn to Tikaros and just stop. She stops floating. She stops speaking. She just doesn't move. Why is everybody looking at me weirdly today? And she's just kind of going to, and then turn back. Any, anyway, and she's going to now this time <laughs> turn away so that she is facing forward. The other one, however, is going to float back alongside Tikaros. And as you're walking Tikaros, this figure just kind of like the other one was pacing Vara is alongside of you, staring at you as you walk. This is the cranky kind of one. Alongside. This is the cranky one. The cranky one. I'm going to stare right back at him, not breaking eye contact. It's a stare off. It's going to lean in. Um. I will, I will, uh, noticing this a little bit, just kind of give... Tikros a little bit of, of like an elbow to, to lean for her to not trip and fall at least so that I'm able to because I was like yeah there's no way of me stopping her and staring <laughs> but... as you're walking down this the figure that's opposite of Tikros is in line with the candles so every time it moves over a candle the candle flickers slightly as it goes over and then lights back up and so you've got this trail that the light dims as it goes over and then comes back up behind you nice and it's just i'm gonna grab the whole group here and see if i can move everybody Ooh, that is so cool everybody move together <laughs> <laughs> materia however is going to continue the conversation with vara yeah uh, where did where did you find the ring oh um it was in the bay i believe um well, let me just tell you what happened. We were walking along the roadside. You know, I'm very willingly giving this information out, but you're, you're a spirit, so I, I sh I'm sure this is fine. Um, we were walking down the path and um, a large fireball strike or something occurred and uh, other members of our group were knocked unconscious. And when we investigated, we discovered two children uh, running by the cliffside and they threw something into the water and were being chased by a minotaur specter with red eyes. Very frightening presence. Oh, I am so sorry. He has, he has been haunting me for, for four years now. Well, oh. around four years. You hmm. see, he's, he's the one who killed me. Oh my God. Goodness, um, is there anything we can do about that? <laughs> well, unless you know how to bring someone back from the dead. Not. And, not really, no. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard also to be back really with. Way. Yes. It's kind of hard to be back without a bot. And she will look over her shoulder towards Tikaros for a moment. We must hurry. Um. With the rings gone, I'm afraid that the spell has begun to fade. Hmm. The, the spell? Oh, yes. And by this point, you would be to the next staircase up. 
What kind of yes. spell is it? Some kind of preservation or protection? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, a little of both. Um, preserving, uh, the, preserving the lovers and protecting everyone else from them. Okay, so when I put this ring on the finger of this corpse, it is a actual corpse that I'm interacting with, I presume? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And what is the story? Unfortunately, I don't know that one ring will do enough. Well, let's hope it'll do something for now, and we'd be happy to go out and look for the other. Um, what <laughs> to is which Lanathos goes, yes, yes, you will. Again, just staring straight into Tikros. What is the story of these lovers? Why do they have their own temple? Are they nobility, or did they die in some kind of important way? Well, they were apparently blessed to be married by Afara, but mm. they were cursed never to be married by Heliod. And between the anger between the two of them, well, I'm afraid they were they were made into something unlike what they were. <laughs> and um, they, they were sadly a sacrifice. And at this point, you are now at this altar. And you can see laid out, there are two shapes underneath this material. It's a light material, but you can't quite see clearly through it. So that what you're looking at through it does look like a couple of statues, probably exquisitely mm. painted, but statues nonetheless. Mm. But one thing you do notice, though, is uh, neither of the heads are attached to the bodies. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and <sighs> unfortunately, uh, a, a, a big struggle occurred, and a warrior of champion of Mogus um, decided to please. Heliod and stop the wedding. Um, but he stopped the wedding when they were completing their vows and they had just embraced the kiss when he decided to remove their heads. Oh. oh well, that, uh, let's see if we can help them. And uh, I will kind of turn to Ptolemais and Tikaros before removing the veil as like a signal of like, if you want to see this, then continue. But if not, you might want to look away. <laughs> I'll just give her a slight nod, like a we're here with you nod. Oh yeah, I'm curious. I'll break contact with the creepy spirit's eyes to look at what <laughs> Vara's doing. Cool. <laughs> and when you do, as you turn to look, it actually floats around so it stays in the <laughs> back of your vision wherever you're looking and continues to stare. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and pull back the veil. As you pull the veil back, the severed heads are exposed first, and the eyes of the male, which are looking towards you or in your direction, look up and make eye contact with you. Materia states, it's, it's okay. They're, they're just waking up. They, they can't do anything. Well, yet, I don't think. I'd be careful putting the ring on the hand, though. Why are they still alive? Well, some say that it's love, and some say that it's anger, and some say that Afara captured them at the moment of death and froze them so that they could eternally be together, but not taken into Erebus's kingdom. Um. Uh, uh, you see Vara, like, very frustratingly hesitate um, and stare into the eyes of this, of this head, and um, this, um, this is... This is not right. This is this is against what I believe in. The eye's looking at you the whole time and it blinks a couple of times. Um I I I'll I'll have said that to Materia and then I'll I'll kind of redirect eye contact with the head again and 
it's very uncomfortable for Vara to be staring at a severed head, but she kind of gulps and tries to, um, I, I, I am a follower of Athreos and, and you need to have safe passage in, in through death. But you have to be dead. And, well, I mean, technically. I, Although, well, if the spell breaks, I assume that it will no longer be technical. Technically, I, technically the nameless are alive again, but that, that doesn't mean that they... When you say that, you see as she physically fringes and moves backwards. We do not discuss I, them. When she yes, actually well, says that, you can hear the disgust in her voice. Uh, yes, well, I, um, I don't necessarily hold vitriol but um, against them, but uh, as part of a follower of Athreos, I mean, they should be slain as well. And, and looking at this scene, I, I mean, this is unnatural. They, they should be able to rest peacefully. Are they not in pain? And Vara's gonna actually, she's gonna like try to steal herself and call upon Athreos to like be strong in this moment. And she's going to like lean closer and try to like search the eyes for pain and see if like, this is a bad existence for these people. All right. How how close are you leaning in? I, I want to have an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh-huh. No, I know. Um, <laughs> pretty close. I think, okay, uh, here's my Culver's cup. I want to say, uh, oh, probably like here. So what? That's about, about a, okay. a So about remember, a the, distance, uh, remember the other head is here and they're facing towards each other. So that will put you kind of over the other head a bit. Ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. As you reach in to look, the eyes get a little bit wider, and then you hear in your ear, I hear what? <laughs> oh, that wasn't loud. Microphone! Stay away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't put enough uh, background in that whisper. Oh, I'm no, 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 no. You're fine. I'm just, I, I just hated that I heard something. I was mentally <laughs> prepared for like my ear to be bitten off, but I was not prepared to hear something. <laughs> okay. She'll like, she'll kind of startle and back away. And uh, I'm just, um, uh, yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you could speak. Are you in pain? Pain. And the other at the same time. Yes. Pain. I, I'm, I'm. Let us to... free. Let us be free. Uh, the way for me to free you is to kill you. Are you prepared? And they look at each Tell us, why? Why can't we just live and love each other in peace? Materia is going to lean in. I don't think they realize what happened. Oh. I don't think they've quite awakened enough to know what's going on. <sighs> and Lanathos is going to lean in. And you should not tell them. Oh, they deserve to know and they deserve to pass. No, they do not. And you are going to feel this energy push back against you as Lanathos reaches out with his hand and shoves you backwards. Mm. I'm on stairs. Do I fall? <laughs> what's, what's, <laughs> no, it's what's not, that it's not enough to like? knock okay. you over, but it's okay, enough cool. to move you back away from the bodies. Okay. I'm I'm gonna helplessly look to Tali and Tigros. Like I'm just I don't know what to do. 
Well, I don't, I don't think this is our decision to make. I think, I think we just return the ring like we said we would. Yes, and then you will find the other and return it. Well, only if you ask nicely. You do not speak to me that way, returned. Where is your mask? If you've stolen a body, you should be hiding that ugly face of yours. Well, that's very offensive. If I was a returned, how would I be talking back to you like this? And they're both going to look at each other. The returned can speak. They may be idiots and, and empty vessels, but they still have a voice. This one's not an empty vessel. She's my friend. Also not an idiot. All of the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Schmack. <laughs> uh, Tigros has memories that they couldn't be a returned. Yeah. Lanathos is going to turn to Materia. Why does she look like you? You think all satyr look alike. <laughs> Pay him no mind. Sounds like you're racist then. Jeez, okay. Oh. Um. But yes, let's let's return the ring. This one, the one that we have. Yes, return the one ring, and then the other. Okay, I'm going to lean to the woman and re- Hello? Sorry, there's a cat very loudly behind me. Um, I'm going to lean to the uh, to the woman and lean over her and, and reach for her hand. And as I slip the ring on, I'd like to whisper, and I'd like to try to do this secretly. Um, I'm going to whisper to her. Um, you are being kept alive. And I can free you if you are in pain. Since you are trying to do this quietly, give me a stealth check as you make this. Sure. Check. Luck on my side. I am doing the bidding of Akros 18. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. Nice. Amazingly. Apparently, no one else hears you as you say this. Nice. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I just want to live with my husband. Why can't I move? Oh, I, I don't know if I want to say more in fear of being heard at this point. Okay, my knowledge of Aphros and Erebos. If, uh, what is what is the underworld like when someone, do I know that? Like, do I know, because I, I help people pass, but what am I helping them pass on to? Like, would they still be able to be connected in death? Give me... Um... You can do history or arcana since it's kind of in between the two on this. Same, same uh, modifier. I'll, I feel arcana, so I'll do that one. Oh, nat twenty, beautiful. Jesus, <laughs> twenty one. I mean, is killing it today. <laughs> Uh, obviously, you don't know anyone who's returned and come back because, well, I guess you know a Minotaur that returned and came back, and and possibly a, a Satyr. You don't know, um, but in general, the idea is that the underworld has places set aside for everyone, not necessarily where they want to be, but where they should be. For some places, it is a it is a place of Elysium. For others, it is a place of hell. It is, it is punishment and darkness and suffering. But depending on what you want, even a paradise could be a place of suffering. So it's kind of a balance, but you just have to trust that Erebos is going to lead you to the place you belong for eternity. 
Okay. Um, all right. I'm. I just moved my hand. Uh -huh. I'm. God, I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um. Shit. Uh. What am I gonna kill them with? Um. What's the best now? Okay. Radiant damage. Right? Kind of. They're kind of undead-ish, huh? Yeah, kind of undead-ish. That's uh, one way to put it. Acid yeah, so moon. <sighs> no moonbeam would give them. Great. Okay, cool. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt <laughs> at third level. Wow, okay. And I am and going... Who are you targeting this at? The man or the woman? Um, so I slipped the ring onto the woman's finger. Okay. Um, and I I guess in Vara's mind, the, the man is the one closer to me, right? He's the one on the side. No, of the the, the man is facing you. The woman is oh, the right. one that you were. Okay, yeah. yes. Yeah, okay. Pictured it. Um gosh, it sucks that I can't try to do both at once, but um I think I would target the man since in my mind, maybe the woman having the ring back on her will kind of preserve her for longer. Um, so it Ptolemaeus, would be I think, wants to say something to you. So I'm gonna Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, while it was it was more like while this is happening, is it possible for me to to cast detect magic like right behind her to see what is keeping them alive to see what 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 kind of like spell Absolutely. or whatever thing I, I i see you're not in you're not in initiative order so if you want to do that at the same time i'm perfectly fine with it yeah so so as i see i mean i i know the type of person vara is and and i i'm guessing seeing things that should not be living living disturbs her greatly enough to for me to to kind of look over in in the back and see like what kind of magical effects are keeping them alive. Okay. Um and is it something and is it a uh some sort of an effect? It you that... are picking up a type of abjuration magic. Um and okay. as you as you view this it's 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 small amounts. I mean, this has obviously been something that's been up for a couple of hundred years that was stated. You can tell its brightness is fading as time goes by. And you you can suspect there's probably uh maybe an hour or two left. But you can see as this is slowly fading away around the altar. I'll just, as that feeling is, I'll just kind of lean over to Vara and whisper to her and her alone, just, they don't have much time left. Whatever's keeping them here, it's not keeping them here for long. Yeah, no, I mean, I, 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 I'm. <laughs> but uh, with that thought, though, sorry, uh, one, one last thing. With that thought, thinking that, um, I mean, damn, is it too metagamey? Um, I will hold. I will hold uh, a dispel magic in case this uh this effect seems to allow these to to do anything harmful or negative towards vara in any situation 
Um, so to you, you're saying to you would dispel this abjuration effect is what your yes, goal would be. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right, Vara. Cool. Um. Yeah, I cast guiding bolt at third level on the man. All right. So that is going to be a ranged spell attack, and your target yeah. is your target is prone. But your target's also elevated. So I'm going to let you just do a straight roll on it. I'm not going to make you do it at disadvantage. I, I know that's going to make some. Gonna... I haven't even looked at chat yet, but I'm sure Z is already correcting me on this. But sorry, Z, DM's call. <laughs> well, he mentioned, he mentioned that shooting prone things is disadvantage, but I thought that was only when at range. Because technically I'm shooting, yes, but I'm still with. Well, you know what? Feet. You're actually doing a ranged spell attack, which some things, some ranged attacks, you have to be a certain distance away or they would be disadvantage anyway. No. But yeah, I'm just no, exactly. you do a flat roll. So just okay, do a flat perfect. roll. I'm happy with that. Um, cool. And dispel magic doesn't, that hasn't been cast, right? Or is that. No, no, I'm, I'm holding it against them on. In case they do something negative towards you. Against them. Okay, great. Yeah. Cool. So I'm I was, not I was worried that it was you. great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wow. Now what is he? I'm just picking me? on you. That's a seven. That checks out. Not our decision to make. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. <laughs> It, it, it's, it's really been either nat ones or nat twenties this entire session. I'm losing my mind. So here's what's I going to happen. See real good, but I can't honor my God. <laughs> so here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to put up something on there called a uh, a an initiative tracker. Oh yeah. Okay. Great. Yep. And uh, oh, all of you are going no. to roll initiative for me. Perfect. Oh, dear. I love the sound of that already. Oh, boy. I got to figure out how to spell materia now since it's slightly different. There we go. I like it. I did see the issue of material girl or a materia girl earlier, so that was very funny. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> the double in of reference. Uh, so make sure you click on your token before rolling initiative so that it actually picks well, it up. I mean, yeah. I would still need, uh, Tam, I would still need you to add the, the roll for me because I'm rolling. Okay. For... Yeah, me too. Mine didn't work. Sorry, Tam. It's all right. Uh, uh, let's see, Tully, and I'm just going to put abbreviations for your name because I'm somewhat lazy. Okay, Tully, what was yours? Six. All right. And Ticaros. Nine. Nine. And I typed in the values for Lanathos and Materia, and it didn't take them. I am very irritated with that. Let's see if it takes it this time. There we go. That time it took it. Okay, sorry about that. All right. So we are now in initiative order. Oh no. And Vara, you cast your spell. And it goes wide. And immediately Lanathos turns his gaze to you. The worst Fucking spell to miss, I swear. Haha, <laughs> 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 anyways. Ha 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 ha. That was a B. <laughs> and he is going to look at you and go, You have crossed the line. And he is immediately. So you guys were all up. I'm going to move your tokens up here around the altar so we're all in the right places. So if I put you in the wrong place, just yell at me later. Because I would have had everybody up around like this. Uh, I assume, Tali, you were back a little ticorous. I don't know where you would be. So if those look good, good. Yeah. Lanathos is going to yell at Vara and then 
immediately take off to this corner up here into the left hand side. And he is going to disappear inside of a statue there. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And that is going to be uh, Lanoth's turn. So, Vara, I believe you are up now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna fucking try again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Only have I, I done any? Hold on. Did I accidentally miss like a second casting of that? Because I didn't use Water Walk or anything else. Okay, great. I don't see it. So cool. Yeah, for some reason the second slot was ticked, but I, I have not used another spell this session. I'm fairly certain. Great. Once again, towards the man. Um. Well, okay. Can I do like a quick little? <laughs> can I do like a quick little vibe check on him? And I just tried to shoot him. Is he chilling, or are they mad? His or... <laughs> eyes are wide open. Uh, looking a bit terrified. Okay. I yeah. Well, you know, fear of death is normal. All right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll cast. I'll cast guiding bolt again. Once again at third level. Uh, please be better. Oh God, a ten. Does ten hit? Uh, yes, actually, it does. Yeah. Hooray for beheaded peoples having low AC. Sort of thought. Okay. Are you oh. aiming for his head? Are you aiming for his head or his body? By the way. That's a great question. His head is the one who's well. He hasn't. He no. He has spoken at this point. Uh, probably the head. Okay. Great. Um, that was okay. If that hits, I think the damage is in well twenty twenty one radiant damage. Uh, twenty one. Uh, the guiding bolt hits, and the head just vaporizes splatters nothing nothing not there is no material uh knowledge that it was a head anymore uh pieces of it splatter onto the face of his bride who is immobile and unable to move oh. yeah i probably should have turned her head in hindsight huh <laughs> <laughs> it's okay you'll be together in underworld soon la, la, la. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you going to do any movement? No, I, I stand I stand my ground. All right. Tigros. Complete lock. Your microphone went dead, Tigros. Oh no, hello, hello. There Is it go. working? I can hear. Now okay. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So much like the player. Tikaros also has a look of shock and horror on her face. Vara, what are you doing? What are you doing? I love you, but this is not our fight. And I will cast Mage Armor on myself. And then mm -hmm. I am going to move 30 feet backwards down the stairs. And turn and okay. just prepare. All right. Prepare to defend my friends from afar because that's what I do. You know, Ptolemaeus, I, I, I did you a disservice, Ptolemaeus. And I'm going to rectify that right now before we get to your turn. You were holding an action. We weren't in initiative, but you actually held an action. Do you do the dispel magic? In fear of repercussions of what Vara just did, I will dis dispel the magic of, of the abj abjuration that I feel. All right. And uh, that was a... It's probably you did that at, it's probably You bad. did that at third level, so I'm going to yeah. say, okay. That spell vanishes, and I'm going to time it specifically with the moment that Vara casts her Guiding Bolt, the second one. Okay? So, that happens, and First thing you you notice is this sound of 
creaking and cracking. Kind of like uh, when something gets very old and you move it, you know, and little pieces of it may break or, or make a noise. And then the body of the man reaches up to where its head was and feels around. Oh no. Finding nothing. And it's going to reach across to the head of the young lady and stroke the hair and push the head back down to the body. And Tikaros has moved away at this point. And she is prepared for whatever's going to come. And I'm going to move on to Materia, who is going to look up. And eyes flash across and, what have you done? Why have you done this? Oh, you, you made us do this. You brought this on yourself. And she is going to make her way over to the right-hand side of this area and disappear into the statue that resides there. I knew the statues are! <laughs> I nice saw enough. those as soon as you pulled up that map, and I said, no! Help. <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> Pardon me. Alameis, you're up. So the Dispel Magic seemed to have made the... Broken the uh some sort of bonds that that now have made the, the you you have the removed body. the stasis spell that was holding them in place mm -hmm. and preventing their decay. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot more reason for you to end them now, uh, and with that, thank you. <laughs> I will uh. It's almost like a, a joking way that I said that too. Uh, I will also move back a little bit, and um, with those words, kind of hopefully giving Vara a little bit more purpose. As as my bonus action, we'll use that as my bardic inspiration, and I'll give Vara that. <clears throat> Thank you. And I will move just slightly backwards around here. Okay. And um, I will. I can't really do much else but ready. I'll just take out my short bow and ready uh, an action with the short bow to shoot against uh, seeing the two, the two specters fly up into the statues, I'll just ready it to shoot at the cult, the, the one that moves first. All right. Very good. And since you said that, the one that's going to move first <laughs> Perfect. is the one that is to the right. Oh, sorry. It double clicked on me for the uh, order. Let me get that back where it's supposed to be. So it doesn't drive me nuts. All right. And that statue moves its arms, flexes, turns, and begins to walk back towards the platform. So it has moved. So you have a readied action. That is an 18 to hit. Uh, that misses. So your arrow just whizzes past it. And I will put it right there. That does not show up very well on this map, does it? Sorry, it's so dark. But I'm going to zoom in since we're all over on this side. It might help a little bit. You want to give it like a color marker or something so, so that we at least have a dot to see? Yeah, I'll do that. The... I will do that. I'm zooming in on uh, two cameras, so give me a moment because... No worries. I'm slow, and I I admit it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, it has a red right, dot. Cool. It's the angry one. Perfect. The angry that works. <laughs> um, as soon as I see my my arrow like miss, even though I was pretty sure it was going to, uh, make purchase, I'll just quickly go. 
All right, Var, whatever you want to do, uh, you should probably do it soon. My friends are so good to me, dude. <laughs> Any other fucking people, <laughs> they'd be like, what? The? We're leaving. <laughs> You're crazy. Yep, yep. pretty y'all, much, pretty much. Y'all love me so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it has moved up, and uh, it is now uh, Vara's turn again. So nice. you have uh, you have one uh, headless body that is moving, and the other body is beginning to move as well. Excellent. Well, I'm going to target the one that still has a head. <laughs> um, okay. I'm out of third level spell slots, so I will go ahead and just have oh. to do guiding bolt at second level and stay. Okay. So guiding bolt the. Whoop. Ah, much better hit. And still the same amount of damage, baby. That's a uh, 23 to hit. Okay. And it was 19 medium damage. And once again, the head is destroyed. Nice. Now, do, does the body go limp this time? Or does the body no, seem like... No, no. They are... The bodies are moving independently. Okay. Oh, they're lovers. I should go for the heart. I'm silly. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shucky darns. Shucky Uh, darns. Are you going to move at all? Nope. Stay my ground. All right. Tikaros. I am going to prepare a fire bolt, and I'm going to hold it until I see something move to attack Vara. And then I'll let it go. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. The other statue is now going to move its way up onto the platform as well. The two bodies on the platform are going to kind of try and figure out where they are. And one of them, well, you were right behind where the head was. So it rolls over and it's going to reach its hands up towards you, Vara, and attempt to grab you. But I'm going to assume the nat one means that a headless body has a very hard time finding purchase on you, and it is unable to grasp you as it flails around trying to figure out where you are at. I'm a fish! (laughs) You can't (laughs) catch me! I'm a fish! I'm slippery! The The other body seeing, the other body feeling where those arms are is going to crawl up over that one, and it is also going to attempt to reach for you, Tara. That, however, is an 18. Uh, with that, though, uh, <laughs> as I see the other cre- with the other hand come up, I will silvery barge that. And okay. I will have them roll uh, disadvantage, as well as speak to Tikros to tell tell her to to aim true with her fireballs. She's and, about yep. to yep. Next would and be Tikros, like, yeah. you get your action as well. <laughs> so, you have ahead. advantage, that was disadvantage. Oh advantage to hit Wait, from that? I mean it's a reaction. which one's faster? A held action or a reaction? Mm, probably the held action, honestly. Okay, so you wouldn't get the advantage on the shot. You would get the advantage for the next thing that you do. Cool. Nice one, Tully. Oh my god, that's not good. That's a 11 to hit. That's a hit. I assume you're is aiming it? for the zombie body, so that is a hit. Uh, yep, the first thing that attacks Vara. Yes, yes. Yep. Firebolt for the zombie thing, which is, oh, that's good. 14 points of damage. That body goes up in flames. The The room just smell, fills with the smell of burnt, decayed flesh. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Yeah, ew, 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 zombies, you know. All right. And with that, the stone, the second statue, we'll call it the Materia statue, the blue statue, is going to turn... And the eyes are going to just glow with this deep red. And it's going to point its spear at Tikaros. <laughs> and Holly, you're up. I forgot Krista was watching this. So she's just 
helplessly, <laughs> helplessly watching Vara destroy people. Helplessly <laughs> watching the three of us struggle in a combat oh. against things that we can't hit because I'm, an 18 I'm, didn't hit one of these statues. Um, uh, I'm not mad. Apparently she's uh, eating too, so I've got to be a little more careful in my descriptions. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, oh, uh, um, okay, so, seeing, seeing the spear, seeing the raised spear, I will first move, oh, boy, this is not the best idea, but that's okay, because I love my friends, <laughs> and it'll be fine, um, I'm going to move, sort of, in this area here, away from the away from Lanathos, but a little bit in the way of materia, and using my body and my words, uh in at least in the theory of it, I'll use another bardic inspiration to speak out unsettling words and uh towards materia. Let me roll that D8, because that will be uh that's uh but the, the, the wait it's a saving throw never mind never mind it's a saving throw not an attack i think is it a saving throw only a saving throw subtract the numbers next saving throw okay um so i will use that to subtract three to um to materials next saving throw and then using that same action cast uh dissonant whispers um, basically okay. to force her to move away if she fails. And that will be uh, Wisdom uh, 15. Okay. Uh, what is the effect that you're trying to do? Um, um, it's going to take it's gonna take damage, and it'll immediately use its reaction to move as far away from me as possible. Okay. Well, first off, um, it did fail to save, so what's the damage? Okay. Um, yeah. Ten. Okay. All right. Oh come on! It's sorry. Roll twenty is being a bit obnoxious here. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. And then, so yeah, you cast this. The noise happens. There's a damage there, but she doesn't move at all. Perfect. Okay. That's sort of. Is that it? I I I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Um. Okay. Did I say? Did I say three d six? It's actually sorry. One more d six. I was casting it at a second level. So it's it's actually fourteen damage, not ten. Okay. That's it. That's that's the only difference. All right, so you you see as some chips fall out of the stonework of the statue, so you've obviously done some damage to it. Uh, yeah, just just as a very uh, as a free action, it's just like, all right, Vara, hurry up! It's uh, that's it. We're, it's time to go. Time to go. Hmm. Yep. The Lanathos statue is going to move up to Vara, uh, at speed, and. Attempt to slam into her with its enormous stone body. And that is going to be a 23 to hit. Nice, that hit. All right. You're going to hate this part. I got to get all my D6s over here. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I, I'm actually really enjoying this because Vara deserves it. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, I got the wrong, I'm sorry, it's not D6s, <clears throat> it's D12. Nice! <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> D12's plural? Yeah, that's yes. why. That's the part that I'm... Yes, <laughs> remember when uh, the pregame briefing I said there are ways to get out of things without fighting? <laughs> Yeah. I listen, yeah. okay, and I understand and I love you for that warning and I think it was great, but as DM, you know how cruel it was to put two 
undead beings in pain in front of a follower of Atreus. So how dare you give that chat? Yeah. <laughs> you knew I would have to do something. <laughs> It's okay, because I'm still going to find the other ring. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it right. <laughs> Tali and Tinkerous are going to hate me, because we're going to get out of this combat, and I'm going to go, so we need to go find the other ring now and bring it back. Yep. Yep. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> That's 28 bludgeoning damage. Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> That's oh. so fun! Cool. <laughs> All right. Good to know. <laughs> Thank you. Mara, no. I assume I assume you're up. <laughs> I am up. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, you're up. <laughs> I uh I I I fractured something for sure, but I'm up. <laughs> Also, Tam, just so you know, our cams are popping out of the uh, layout. Really? When did that happen? Okay, thank I you for letting me know that. I don't know, but I just noticed it, so I think it just Thank you for letting happened. me know. A uh, new overlay, so these things happen. Um, oh, I see why. Thank you. I think that nice. fixed it. But, um, excellent. Okay. Yes, it's fixed. Great. Cool. Okay. Um, decisions, decisions. I mean, I think we just leave at this point, huh? I yeah. set. Okay, so <laughs> where, did the, where did the where did the ring end up when I destructed it's, that person? Uh, I guess it's just uh popped down and it is uh, lying on the altar. Oh, it's on the altar. Great. Cool. Yeah, I start running. And I'm going to yell as I run, I'm going to go find the other ring now. I'll bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and... so if you are running away, uh, you are moving out of melee range of two creatures. I sure freaking am. Um, can I do anything weird? Uh, now, you haven't done anything on this turn. So you yeah. could disengage, and that would keep them from being able to. I couldn't the dash though if I disengaged them. Huh? Um, that is correct. That is correct. Grr. I. Okay, silly question because I bounced back and forth between Pathfinder. Uh oh no, never mind. Good fairy is an action. I thought good fairy was a bonus action. That's silly. Um do I disengage and go slow or do I take my chances and dash? Var is being reckless, so um <laughs> I think I'll dash. I think I'm gonna chance it. Okay. I think I'm just I think I'm gonna do my best. Let me grab a different color. So uh, I'll do an attack roll so, for the zombie and the, uh, the statue. Where is, okay, so the, I see the statue. Who, where's the other? It's, I, I didn't put it on the thing because you were wiping out the bodies, but it would be on the altar. It's the other He's zombie on the altar. Body. Okay, so I would yeah. be here. Yep. I just want to make sure I know where I am before I go And since it, since it, Great. since it is a, uh, disembodied, uh, or deheaded creature, I'm going to roll it with disadvantage. Oh, okay. thank that's, you. That's, that's one of them. Uh, which is a nat one. So Oof. the zombie reaches out to go for you and falls off of the altar and hits the ground. And there's a cracking noise as it hits the ground and its arm breaks off. Okay. Hey, and, and the uh, statue? The statue oh. is coming in, attempting to uh, hit you with a fist, and I guess it's distracted by the zombie falling off in the crack and the arm coming loose as it misses as it swings. <laughs> Vara has learned no lessons today. <laughs> All right, oh cool. So five. Mm. Your your dash movement, your full distance. So yay. 
wait, we're gonna hold on. Let me zoom. Your full points to that is. Oh, that was bad, Z. Here, yes, it's a cracking noise. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Tentacles come through the ceiling and. Run that <laughs> I have run. All right. <laughs> All right. I Excellent. feel confident that the zombie is going to take care of itself. It's going to decompose. Or I'm going to come back anyway, so I can finish it off. Okay. <laughs> come back. We're going <laughs> to come. We have to bring the ring back. <laughs> All right. Tikaros. Oh, okay, we're running now. We're running now after we desecrate the temple. Okay, Vara, life was so much simpler before I had people that I loved. She's just muttering to herself. We're both As being she... pious to our gods, <laughs> Vara will say just <laughs> deliriously. <laughs> and she kind of, as she runs past you, she's going to move her full movement, like action <laughs> and movement, 75 feet total. She's just going to look at you as she runs past and goes, I love you, Vara, but this was dumb. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. So she's going to be all the way up here. All right. Well, a couple of things are going to happen here. First, oh um, the Materia statue is going to pick up one of the flaming candles in its, you know, candle holder and hurl it at Ptolemaeus. Oh, of course. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that it is hits. a 21. Yeah, yeah. By, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, apparently, this thing hurls its rocks pretty hard. So give me just oh. a minute as I have to find some D tens. I should have been prepared for this. I apologize. I was, I was, I was like, no, they're not going to fight this thing. No way are they going to fight this thing. Yeah, you know. You underestimate our faith. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love Atreus. He's my man. He's going to protect me. We're all right. We're okay. I'm on a mission. Okay. What face? What is that right. face? Okay. Sure. What is that face? That's 27 bludgeoning damage as the rock hurls into our rock. The uh, the base in this candle hurls into you. Into Vara, right? No, into uh, No, into oh, Tali. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yep. I'm so I, sorry. I was there. All and right. she says, why did you make us do this? Why did you do this? Don't you understand love? I'll free you uh, as yes. well. I'm going to let you pass as well. I'm, everyone's <laughs> going to be able to pass. <laughs> I will just like, I'm like in the middle of running, get smacked by the, the stick, and I'm like freaking bleeding. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My, it's, it's so... It's not necessarily that we don't believe in love. It's just that it's a little bit of natural and it's against my friend's faith. And we can't, it, it's, you know, gods and, and whatnot. I'll just keep running. Uh, and how many, how, how much is this? How much can I run with my action? Uh, hold on, let me make the map a little bigger so I can actually see how much I can run. And yeah, as I as I run past, um, taking the the dash action, I'll just look at Vara. I'll just be like, "You owe us dearly." And ow, 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 ow. And um, I think I will cast with my bonus action a healing word on myself, <laughs> if I could. Um, All right. I will uh, do so at uh, a third level and hopefully get a little bit of heal back to myself so that I may support my friends a little bit more. That is uh, 10 points of healing with my bonus. And uh, yeah, I'm out of there as much as I can. All right. Well, now the other thing that was happening at this point in time 
Oh, as you approach turn, right? the end of the, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, no, never mind. I thought it was not, was not even my turn yet. But... It's not your turn yet. <laughs> oh, perfect. As you approach the end of the staircase, Tikaros, a large figure appears stepping <gasps> up. Oh. It's a minotaur with glowing red eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought, yeah. And it is just okay. going to see you running towards it. And it's going to lean forward and just... <laughs> hmm. Well, okay. it's your turn. <laughs> okay, so, so I did all of the whatever I just said. Um, once again, uh -huh. just double-checking the distance. Uh, I got 10 points of healing for myself. And I am here. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's that's my dash. That's my that's my everything. And my bonus action. So, all right. That's it. Okay. Let's see, what is your dist? You guys have moved a pretty good bit away from this guy. So. Let's do a quick range check here. No, you're all still in range. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh no. The it's like the, the map's not that big. <laughs> the Lanathos <laughs> statue is going to turn pick up one of the candles and hurl it. And it's going to hurl it at the closest target, which is Vara. That's an 18. Uh, can I reaction Silvery Barb that as well? Okay. Uh, Please do. Giving, Please do. Giving, giving that, that hurl a disadvantage, and I'll just keep using my words. Vara, Vara, hurry up. Hurry up now. Let's go and give Vara the the, the advantage. And it's... Well, I'm I, I'm sad to say right. that would have been a 19, so the 18 still stands. All right, great. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so Vara, this candle base with a can flaming candle attached comes flying at the back of your head. Why didn't why didn't I pick lesser? I didn't think you were gonna fight him. <clears throat> <laughs> That's twenty bludgeoning damage. Nice. I'm I'm down. Oh my god. <laughs> Bar is crazy. <laughs> this is great. This is so like next she week has on Terrell's when the new characters start. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, the next character is not going to be a follower of Avarice. How about that? <laughs> uh, the uh, Thanos statue, having hurled that, is going to reposition itself uh, a little bit further down the stairs. So it's it's okay. not trying to run, but it is pursuing. Probs should have Vara, shaped, but, you know. Vara, yeah, that's true. Vara is down, so Vara, if you would please, death saving throw. Oh, right away. The drama. Okay. Goodness. Hey, that's a two. One failure. All right. This is one failure. That's good. <laughs> That's better than a nat one. All right. Um, <clears throat> Tikaros, you are oh, facing no. this very large minotaur. Shape thing. Yep. Okay. Uh I look over my shoulder and I try to see how far my friends are away. So Okay. I think I would see and 40 feet. <laughs> and I would see that Vara has fallen over, mm -hmm. no longer running. So I'm gonna stare at the Minotaur as I rapidly back up back towards Tolly. <laughs> Okay. So I'm gonna go. Do you have a backpedal speed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. 
<laughs> if I move mm. there, that's my 30 feet. Oh, no, I've got 35 feet of movement. I keep forgetting. So I can get to here nice. with my movement. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's so frustrating. I can't get to Vara this round. Well, you could. Well, either way, you could dash and you could get to her, but then you couldn't do anything else. I can't do anything. And I have something that could help. Yeah, Tolly will be good. What I'm going to do is, with my action then, I'm going to, again, clasp my star necklace and ready a firebolt for whichever baddie comes closest to hurt Vara, and I will hold the firebolt ready to hit, defend. That's me. That's my turn. Because I would think that Materia would have a couple of choices on what she would do at this point. All right. She, the statue, the Materia statue suddenly stops moving and she exits it and goes over and begins to pick up the body and put it onto, back onto the altar including the arm. So that's going to be her focus for a moment. The Minotaur at this point is going to continue ascending the stairs and it is not running, but it is, it is huffing and you get, you get this in feeling of intense anger as it makes its way forward. And, you know, kind of like flexing and, and like it's getting ready to punch, you know, this kind of posturing. Ptolemaeus, you're up. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, I am seeing as how, as soon as I spoke to Vara, she gets pelted with the candlestick. I'm going to jump over these candles okay. to the other side. Uh, oh, I'll okay. Be this area. Um, I think I'll tell. Yeah, I'll go around and be right here and cast a healing word bonus action. Yeah. Uh, nice. to Vara. There's nice. only so much I can do. I don't know if it's that that, that nice. Um, let's see. Uh, this is uh, it's that, and then so that is nine, nine points of healing. Uh, to Vara, and I still have an action and um how how would I want to do this? It's like contemplating some stuff, but I think I think I am going to uh not that that's not good. That's not good either. Okay, so if that's the case, since nothing is good, uh, everything sucks, I'm <laughs> going to say, like, as I'm running, I'll, I'll kind of juke to the other side and just go, um, just get out of here, I'll try to draw it away, and uh, use my action to dash and run off the map this way, behind the Minotaur. Okay. I will get as close as I can to the Minotaur to kind of try to draw it. Try and get his somewhere. attention. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I'll, give I'll me, run. Let's run this as a persuasion then. Haha. <laughs> give me a persuasion check. And I'll see if he pays attention to you. Yep. I'll just, I'll just freaking, oh boy, this is going to be terrible and I'm going to die. But, um, <laughs> I'll just scream out, I have the other ring and just fucking go. Oh, uh, you did not. It is a 19. Oh. That's enough. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll just fucking go. Yeah. I'll just put it on the, I'll, on the edge, but I'm technically, I think, 20 feet off the map. 
Okay. Or about 15, 15 feet off the map. All right, good to know. Actually, give me just that. a second here. So Sorry. Ah, I did not mean to move the token. Sorry, my roll 20 is... I would be something. 40 feet off the map. Yeah. Okay. Which is just enough to get you out of range. That's what I was trying to see, is if you were still in range or not. Yeah, I'd be 40 feet off the map. So, as you are uh, running away, uh, Lanathos statue is going to pick up another candlestick and throw it at you, but obviously it's going to fall short behind you but he is going to hurl one and yet while yelling i knew it i knew you were lying vara you're apparently back conscious yeehaw what would you like to uh, well we gotta get the heck out of dodge um well now that I'm not unconscious and uh, remembered that this is a thing I can and should be doing, um, am I still? What am I at? One one hit point. Uh, oh, you were. I, I gave, gave you nine. Nine. I gave nine? You nine. Yeah. Nice. How kind of you. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, probably a horsey, huh? Ooh, maybe up there. Hold on. Check. Sorry, I should have double checked this. Uh, also nineteen. Ooh, but this one can climb. Uh. I'm going to wild shape into a war horse. Okay. And... Poof, thou art a war horse. I'm not going to token it because we haven't, we really need to sit down and say what tokens you need. <laughs> we should. It's like a little, it's like a Kelpie kind of looking war horse. Um, I like it. Still kind of has that aquatic look to it, but not not necessarily a, a, a hippo can be type creature. Right. Um, Goodness. Okay. So I wild shaped into this horse, which is great. And is there any way that I can wild shape is an action. Mm -hmm. While I'm moving, can I like try to bonus action? I'd like to take Tigros with me. Can I somehow do that in horse form? Uh, you'd have to bite her <laughs> to grab her. <laughs> yeah, well, almost uh, like, yeah, I, you know, I think that's safer than leaving her behind. Well, either either that or uh, you could yell something to her, like grab on. I mean, she's been pretty good about doing that in the past, but that's what you Oh, yes. To. Okay, yeah. No, before, before I wild shape, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll like find, I'll like be groggily like getting up and kind of get my bearings and, and look around and like, oh shit, we're supposed to be leaving. Um <laughs> and I'll and I will all go ahead and yell um Tigros, hop on and I will turn into horse and start uh, not dashing, but galloping at okay. my normal pace. And what is your what is Tigros, your speed? Uh as a war horse? 60. Okay. Uh, Tick Rose, if if she's not taking off full trot, I'm you're you'll be able to grab hold her if you want to on your action. That would be your action and movement there to grab. All right. So uh, that would put you sixty feet. I wish it would do the right thing. We? The token. There we go. Thank you. Oh. So yep, right about there. Uh, you are going to uh, pass by the Minotaur figure as you do oh, that. Oh, can I swerve that? <laughs> I would love to swerve. I'll, you, I'll, I'll do some hijinks in order to avoid that. You you can swerve around that. Uh, that would actually maybe put you a little bit further back, but yeah, no problem. Yeah, you're still no. out of. You're still Perfect. past that. All right, very good. 
Anything else? Ticaros, uh, that was your action and your move. So the you guys have fled. Yep. Materia is going to look back and curse them. Don't let them escape. The Minotaur, being a big, bulky kind of guy, he's going to turn around. That's going to take him a little bit. He's not going to be fast at doing it. And he is going to pursue. So he is going to start running for you. Now we run out of map, which is what's really fun. <laughs> because nice. I didn't make an outside map. Heck yeah. <laughs> but the Minotaur is going to pursue after you. Hello, okay. you're up. I will. Uh, Hop on, will... bud. Hop yeah, on, I... bud. <laughs> I will. I'm I'm a little far away, so instead of going backwards and being very uh counterproductive in that sense, I will hold. I'll just keep running at a slower pace and kind of as soon as I see uh Kelpivara, I'll I'll just grab. Ah, it's kind of like Capybara, but Kelpivara. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love, just, I love it. I love it. I'll just uh, grab on and and hop on as soon as I can, as soon as you they cross my way. But I'm not going to go back in the direct in their direction. I'll even use like my a little bit of my running to kind of match speed, so it's a little easier for me to to jump on instead of like being like a full perpendicular motion. But, okay. Yeah. All right. That's gonna be it for me. Excellent. Lanathos is going to exit his statue and move, which allows him to move much faster. And he closes the gap and is almost alongside the Minotaur. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Pursues. Yeah. How many feet was that? He can fly and fly fast. <laughs> oh, that's that's not great. Okay, so that's going to get you. Yep. Right yeah, enough. eighty feet. Hello. <laughs> That's, what that's, I thought. A that's a dash. That's a dash, right? It's a dash. Yeah, it's a dash. It's a dash. Yeah, so. I can dash faster. We're still faster. <laughs> Idiot. One hundred and twenty feet, baby. <laughs> but but unlike unlike them, we have a goal. We have an end point at which we have to get back to the wagon, and they can chase us for freaking ever. So that's a big problem in itself. They so might they might be tethered. To the temple. Hold the pause. Maybe, let, let, hold, hold. <laughs> Cross fingers. The Minotaur was there. The Minotaur was in front of us. I don't know. Um, yeah, he's how lucky, so special. How <gasps> lucky do you feel? <laughs> anyway. Okay. So far, I'm doing all right, actually, considering the circumstances. <laughs> well, Vara, um, what would you yes. like to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to <laughs> gallop like hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am in I am in full full trot. Full. All right. So if you're gonna go your all right, so I mean you're not fighting or anything, so you're gonna dash and use your full speed, full distance, right? Yeah, no, I'm yeah, I'm just fully dashing. Okay. Take so that would be 120. Yep. I'll I'll grab on when, when they pass me. Yeah. Very good. Um I might just do my little Prepping, just prepping a spell, fireball ready in case anyone comes up close and tries to attack us. Okay, so if anybody enters range, is that? Yep. Okay, cool. Keep, keep in mind, uh, for, for Tikaros, I still have, you still have the advantage from my silvery barbs. Oh, nice. Minute, so. nice. Nice. Thanks. All right. Materia is not going to do anything that's on screen because you guys are way too far away. She's back at the temple, so blah, blah, blah. Alameas, you're up. Freaking, I will take a deep breath and lean down and tell Vara, I know you want to go back there, but we are not going back there. <laughs> At least not the three of us. Let's just keep moving. And uh, let's not have the Minotaur get to us. And then I'll just sit back up a little bit. She's horse form. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know. It's, I'm but, not, I don't care about the answers. But she kind of, she kind of <laughs> whinnies in a way that you can tell is a laugh. Like, I'm your ride right now, buddy. <laughs> Vara says no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, also you. the one that picks anyway. you up. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you know. Mm-hmm um but yeah that's that's i mean that's it for me uh i will however hold an action doing the same idea as tikaros uh i will hold an action to to cast the dissonant whispers to to specifically if the minotaur gets closer okay that gets gets <laughs> it within within range which is 60 feet if he ever gets mm-hmm. if he ever gets within range 60 feet of uh Kelpivara, I will uh, cast the dissonant whispers and basically say the exact opposite that I said. What I said that okay. I don't have the ring. So All right. we'll we'll. Well, they they are going to just because of the speed differences here. They are just going to hit the edge of that. So I don't believe that is in range of your firebolt. What's your range on firebolt? Um, no, it's one twenty feet. Firebolt's oh heck, they're well within range yeah. of that, Tikaros. So. That would trigger uh, which one, Minot- uh, Minotaur or Lanathos? Hmm. Minotaur. Okay. I'm gonna use the Excellent advantage choice. from the silvery bobs. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Dirty twenty to hit. That absolutely. Yeah. Yay. So that is oh, that is a whole eight points of fire damage. <laughs> All right. Nice. Better, better than solid. no damage. That is solid. That, no, no. We, no, have, that's, that's we have to help them pass the afterlife as well. So yeah. this is great. Ptolemaeus? <laughs> uh, yeah, my dissonant, dissonant whispers. Um, same thing. Wisdom 15. To yep. uh, sorry, I got to find my D20 because I misplaced it. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, that is a fail. Okay. Uh, and who is this? who is this upon? The Minotaur? Uh, also the Minotaur. Right? Yeah, okay. and it will be the, 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 the ten points of psychic damage. Okay. And um, yeah, he needs to use his reaction to get away from us, move okay. as far away from us as possible. As I as I basically use it to just keep speaking to him, and just like the ring is elsewhere; it's somewhere else. You were pursuing the other two that had the ring. It's not with us. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that happens is this firebolt is going to hit him and like square in the chest and he's going to see who it comes from and just kind of steely gear, glare at Tikaros and then he's going to stick his hand out and grab the Lanathos spirit and stop him. And with that, that's going to allow the distance because you're still running. That's going to allow the distance to extend. And you hear him because he's speaking rather loudly. Let him go for now. I owe her that much. I will pursue them and get the ring back. Told you that was my goal. We're on the same page. <laughs> Bara's just thinking in her little voice brain. <laughs> so, with that, I am going to drop Lanathos out of there. Holly, you've heard this. They've he's stopped pursuing, but he has stated an intention to continue. The next goal is the ring. I think that's all. My my turn was there. Uh, well, you were you were doing a hold action from the previous. I thought so. Oh <clears throat> yeah. So uh, the only thing I'll, I'll just I'll I'll just kind of chill and and mention it for anybody that didn't hear. And I was just their goals and our their goal and our goal aligns now. Well, their goal and your goal, Vara. So I guess we're looking for. The other ring, which is either in the bottom of the sea, or with those two children. So we should probably head down the road, just a little further out. Okay. 
yeah, no, I mean, I'll I'll remain in Warhorse form and I'll I'll stay fast onto the onto the trail. Are you going to go back through the village because that's where this trail goes? Or are you going to go off the trail so you don't go through the village? I tough question. Going around the village, I assume, would be slower. Yeah, somewhat, yeah. I, I don't think anyone has reason to believe that us trotting through the village is bad. Or it wouldn't be to try to be in a full gallop, but um, I think I'll go through the village. I just want to make sure that I stay exactly the way that we came. Okay. Icarus. Alrighty. As Vara does that like massive gallop through the village, I'll look behind and see if we're still being followed. Oh yes. Now yeah. it's just the Minotaur, and after he stopped Lanathus, it took a breath for a moment because he couldn't immediately chase. But now he's started moving back your direction. He's pretty far behind you, but he will start running to catch up. Oh, all right. I'll just same again. Prep a fireball in case he comes within danger range. Okay. All right. And he will continue to pursue as you make your way into the village, going through. And there are people outside. They've heard some noises. Uh, they're seeing this war horse with the two on the back. Uh, what happened? Did you did you fix it? Oh. Something like that. <laughs> are we are we fast enough just to be like sort of it's just it's it's against her faith. It's just it's and I'll just say something like <laughs> around that. It's just like you know who gods and stuff and We're going pretty dang fast, so they might yeah. even not even hear it all mm. so, sort of yeah. <laughs> Alright. Maybe okay. faith god sort of is the only three words that Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, you make your way through the village and you are out of it and kind of reaching a bend in the trail about the time the Minotaur arrives in the village, chasing behind you. And where Vara, I assume you made an effort to kind of dodge the peds. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Minotaur doesn't. And he begins to bowl over and tear through people. And you hear I... screams. As he oh. tears his way through the center of the village, chasing after you. Goodness. All right. Well, I'm going to take nice. you a little bit out of initiative because you're far enough ahead. So anybody who wants to take an action, you can do this at this point. Yeah, if I can. Uh, am I cognizant of the fact that that's happening or are you describing that more for just player knowledge? I'm describing what you can hear. So OK, you would yeah, definitely... then if. If I can hear all of that, then I'll start like whinnying loudly as we go to try to keep people away out of my path. Right. So you're you're say the village is here, you're down this way a bit, and the Minotaur's tearing his way through. So all right. Anyone yeah, else? Yeah, with, with that, with that, um, if there are understanding what's happening behind us, if there are any people in our way, I'll I will Pretty much shout very loudly to for them to move out of the way. Uh, even after us, I'll just 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 keep going. Move out of the way. That it's dangerous back there. Just keep out of the way and make sure that there's nobody around the area to get completely rampage over. All right. As you charge down the trail which twists and turns now as it makes its way back towards that cliff edge. You come out onto the main road, the road that you were following. And Vara, uh, I assume you stopped short of going over the cliff edge. <laughs> but I'll leave yeah. that up to you. I will stop. Right. And you can hear the sounds, the hoof beats of this minotaur as it chases along behind you. And that's where we're going to end this evening. <laughs>